What's going on today, guys? Today I thought it might be fun to do a little retrospective look back at my YouTube channel to kind of see where it started and more importantly, why I started it. And basically this just gives me an opportunity to showcase one of my favorite guitars that I have here. This is of course my Charvel DK24 in Satin Burgundy Mist. This is still one of my favorite guitars. I haven't really demoed it on the channel recently. I haven't showcased it on the channel for any reason because I just have so many other guitars and so much other gear coming through to demo and review that I just haven't had an opportunity to pick this one up in a while. So I kind of feel bad. I had her on the back burner and um, been neglecting her. So I thought it was time to bring her out and bust her out and talk a little bit about it because this guitar is essentially the reason why I started my YouTube channel. This whole journey, this content creation thing, which I originally had no knowledge of, no interest in doing this sort of thing. It just kind of fell on my lap. A little quick backstory here. Uh, the year was 2020 and um, I hadn't been playing a guitar very much. I'd pick it up now and then for a couple of minutes and fiddle around with it, but I really just wasn't paying attention to learning anything new. I wasn't listening to new music. I wasn't really practicing anything specific. I would just play the same old licks that I've known for years and years and then put it down. One day, for whatever reason, I just got an inkling to drive down to Rochester to the Great House of Guitars, which is a famous guitar store here in the Western New York area. If you live in this region, you might have heard of it. You might be familiar with it. Uh, it's a pretty famous store and a lot of famous musicians have gone through there. So I went down there one day, I think it was a Saturday, and I was just looking around. I really had no intention of buying anything. I just kind of wanted to see what's out there, you know, just check out some cool stuff and just go for a drive. So I get there and I'm walking around the store and then suddenly this guitar, caught my eye. So I checked it out and I liked it so much I bought it there on the spot and I'm still loving this guitar to this day. So when I brought the guitar home, I still had no intention of starting a YouTube channel. I knew nothing about content creation or influencer marketing or any of that stuff at all. I just wanted a new instrument and try something new. So I brought this guy home, you know, tuned it up, started playing it, and I realized I had been missing something. I had been missing playing the instrument for so long to really delve back into it. Um, I just started to learn some new stuff and practice again, and it just sparked a whole new interest, a whole new passion in me that I really hadn't had in quite a long time. But even at that point, I still uh, had no real intention of starting a YouTube channel. reason I posted my first video ever, which was I believe in December of 2020, was because it was a guitar contest being held, which was being run by a couple of different companies. I think Bare Knuckle was involved and a couple other companies. Uh, and the backing track for that solo contest was written by Rabia Masad. So I just figured I'll throw my hat in the ring and give it a try. So I wrote a little solo and it, it's nothing great, but I'll play it for you here. <laughs>
Yeah, that's it. I mean, I just put the solo up online. I didn't even have a good mic yet. I was using the camera from my computer screen. I hadn't bought a real camera yet. And I had no intention of doing YouTube. I just thought, you know, I'll stick this video up there. Maybe it'll get a couple clicks. The solo wasn't very good, but it did spark my interest in something new. Um, and then I just ended up jumping down the rabbit hole, right? And just kind of followed one thing. One thing led to the next. And before you know it, here I am doing YouTube uh, three and a half, almost four years later. And again, you know, I, I had no intention of starting this channel. It was just kind of, it just happened basically. Uh, and I think that it would not have ever happened had it not been for that guitar contest and more importantly for this guitar right here, the Charvel uh, DK24. I absolutely love this guitar. Um, it's so fun to play. It, it's still one of my favorite, you know, modern super strats that I have here at the house. And uh, I don't know what else to say. It's just a great guitar. It does all the things I needed to do. Um, I did kind of nitpick at the time about the bridge pickup, which is a Seymour Duncan full shred. It's a little bit on the treble bright side, but uh, it's manageable. I mean, I, I never swapped it out. I was going to, and I never bothered doing that. So it's still in, you know, original OEM condition, basically. This guitar has been on a journey with me. It's been a lot of fun so far. I really enjoyed the community I've built, the community I've joined. I've become a part of this huge online, you know, global guitar community, and it's really great. And I've had a lot of fun with this stuff, and I hope to continue to bring more content to you guys and just kind of build it up because, you know, I want to make this... It's a passion project, but I also want to make a living out of it, right? We all want to make a living out of music somehow, some way. And, you know, I'm not that good of a good musician. I know that, but I enjoy what I do. And basically, you know, this video, if it serves any purpose at all, it's to kind of remind myself where I came from, you know, what started this whole thing for me. And basically to let you guys out there know, you know, if you have an interest and you think you can't do it, you can, because guess what? I did this, I've gotten here so far and I wouldn't have done it if it weren't for the fact that I picked up this guitar and just started playing and started learning new stuff. You might have that one guitar out of your whole collection that's just your favorite for some reason. And it kind of has that vibe that it just gives you a certain vibe, a certain X factor, some intangible you know, quality about it that you can't really even put your finger on that just tells you that's the one. That's the guitar that I want to take with me to the grave. That's the one I just never want to get rid of. This one is probably the one that has the most importance to me otherwise because this started my whole YouTube journey, which I would not have been on had I not picked this thing up. So I want to thank you guys out there for watching this video. And just remember, you can do it too. Whatever your passion is, follow it. If you've got a dream that seems unrealistic or, or uh, virtually impossible to attain, it's not. You just have to put the time and effort into it. And I think the same thing can be said for uh, learning new techniques or improving on your speed picking or your musical knowledge or what have you. Whatever it is, you can get better at it. You just have to put the time and effort into it. That's really the bottom line. You know, look at me. Who am I? Just a middle-aged guy talking about guitars on the internet. But I learned how to use a camera. I learned how to use recording software. I used how to learn how to do video editing and all that stuff. And it's a lot of stuff. It's time consuming. And I've probably spent thousands of hours through YouTube videos learning how to do all these things. And to this day, I still reference stuff on YouTube. So I'm glad to be a part of this community. I am so glad that I picked up this guitar almost four years ago. And it's been a pleasure. It's been a great journey and I'm still on it. And I just hope I can continue to keep bringing good content to you guys. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out of here. See ya.